everyone, Janie here, and originally I wanted to do a video on all the different adhesives that you can use with Deco Foils flock transfer sheets, but plans change. So instead, today I'm going to be making a card, and while making the card, I'm going to show you several fun techniques that you can do with Deco Foils flock transfer sheets, and I think you're going to love them. So let's head on over to the craft table and get started. So today, while making a card, I'm also going to be showing you some fun things that you can do with Deco Foil flock transfer sheets. And I'm going to be using White Latte, Think Pink, and Green Envy. And I already have my card base started. It's going to be a clear card. And I did the back panel with Distress Ink. And then I added this clear cover. And what that is, is a seven mil premium PVC clear binding cover. Okay, that's a mouthful. Um, if you don't have something like this, I will put links below in the description box to where I got it. Or you might have something around the house um, that's similar to this from packaging or from a binder. And all I did was cut it a little bit bigger and scored it so I can fold it over the back. And then I added some a really pretty glitter tape to that as well. And now this is ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create some snowy hills down here on the bottom. And I'm just going to use the, the flock sheet the way it is, without any adhesives, without transferring it onto anything else. I am just going to cut a snowy hill. And I really don't know how big I need it, but the good thing is, is that I can always trim off, you know, any excess. So let me see how this looks. You know, actually, I think that is just about perfect. And so I'm going to adhere that on and trim off the edges. But before I do, I'm going to ink the edges a little bit here. And actually, I'm going to also cut out another piece that's a little bit smaller. But the first thing I'm going to do is just take my ink and this little makeup brush kind of blender and just add a little blue to that. Okay, let me set this aside a second because I'm going to cut one more. So If I don't like it, the good news is I can cut another piece because I'm not 100% liking that. Let me try a little bit more. I'm usually using smaller scissors to do this. And now I'm using bigger scissors. Let me see. It might work. Let me go ahead and ink those edges and see what I think. But what do you think? Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put these on here using a spray adhesive because I don't want, you know, glue to show through the back, you know, little lines of glue. So I'm gonna go spray this with adhesive and attach that and I'll be right back. Okay, I did end up cutting a different piece and I used the spray adhesive to put on the back piece. And then I used my Beacon 3-in-1 to adhere the front piece of the um, flock sheet to the back one. And now we don't have any glue marks back here because it just went on perfectly smooth with the spray adhesive. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is cutting out a snowman. And I'm going to be using the white flock sheet. I'm going to be using the adhesive um, foam, or foam adhesive, excuse me, from Deco Foil because I want to give the snowman a little dimension. And I'm going to be using the stamp and die set that is from close to my heart. It's old, they don't have it anymore, so I can't tell you where to get it. But I'm going to be using this die. So give me a second, and I'm going to bring in my cuddle bug. Okay, I've got the, uh, the foam adhesive and my die sitting here ready to go. And I'm just going to run it right through my cuddle bug. If you have a big shot or whatever machine you have, that's what you can use. So we're just going to run this through. And 
There's my snowman, which I'll be using in a minute. But while I have my cuddle bug here, I have a couple of other pieces that I need to cut out. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Now, this is all done. Let me get my cuddle bug out of the way. And I will be back again. No, wait a minute. Stop. Rewind. Back up. I still need my cuddle bug. So, and I'm going to show you why. Because even though you can adhere the flocking, you know, without... Oh, where did my piece of stuff go? Okay, well anyways, even though you can add the flocking to this, you know, just by hand, if you use a lot of pressure, you get better results if you run it through something like a cuddle bug, or if you have something else. I was actually imagining, how about a rolling pin, right? Okay, let me grab my flocking. And let's peel the adhesive off. Well, not the adhesive. Let's peel the backing off. Boy, am I having issues today. Okay. And don't stick to me. All right. So with the flocking side down, so there'll be a paper backing here. The paper backing is facing up. The flocking side is facing down onto the adhesive. Just like that. And like I said, you could rub it. You could probably rub it really good. But... I am not that strong, and I actually prefer doing it this way. So, I am going to run it right through here. And... Okay, so now it's on there. There's the flocking. And now I'm going to peel it off. And I like to do it gently and slowly. There we go. You don't want to just rip at it, or at least I don't want to just rip at it. So just, you see how I'm bending it back? That's how I like to do it. Just kind of bend it back and then work it around. And there we go. So you can see where all the flocking came off. And now we have a snowman that I wish you could see it and feel it because it has flocking. And then it has sticky on the back, so all I have to do is remove that and stick it on my card. But before I do that, again, we're gonna do a little inking here. And just kind of Try to go around the edge of the snowman. You don't have to put a ton on there. I mean, it's up to you how much you use. I don't want to turn him blue, but I just want to give him a little shadowing. You know, because after all, he's not flat. He's round, right? And so you want him to look dimensional, and this actually really helps with that. So there we go. Just a little shading around the edges. And that piece is ready to go. And now I'm going to show you another cool trick. You remember the hat we cut out? Well, excuse this. Look, at, isn't that a disaster? Okay, sorry. My, my cuddle bug plates are a mess. But anyways, I'm going to take that hat and I'm going to use this easy tear tape. And this is one eighth of an inch, which is just the size I need for this. And I'm going to show you how I made, wait a minute, because I already have one made, how I made the stripes on this little hat. So all I did was take the tape and try to get it right by the edge. I'm not perfect at this, but I'm going to put strips of the tape across here and I'd probably be better off doing this off camera where I could stick my nose on it but I'm gonna put these strips on and then we are going to take them off but not all of them at one time so okay and then I'm going to trim off those excess edges and I'll be right back.
Let me find it. Here it is. I'm going to use the pink. So I'm going to lay that across there. And don't want to lose that arm. Okay. Not my arm, but <laughs> the snowman's arm. Okay. And we're going to run that through. And I'm going to peel it off. Okay, now we have a little striped hat. But now I'm going to remove the backing off the other two. And we're going to add some green. So I'll just set that down there. And where'd my little piece of green go to? Put that on there. And we'll run it through. Just like that. And now, let's see what we have. And we have a beautiful striped hat for our snowman. Now, for adding flocking to his scarf, I have several options one of which is a spray adhesive, and the other one is using my Xyron. And I have the cute little Xyron, I also have a bigger one, but the little one is perfect for such a little piece as this, and that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put it in face down, so the part that I want the flocking on, that's gonna go face down into my Xyron. And we're gonna pull that out, and make sure that it all the adhesive has gotten on that good. And as soon as I can find an edge here to pull away, I am now going to put that on here. So again, we want the adhesive to go against the flocking, not on the backing, against the flocking. And so I'm just going to peel this off carefully and try to not get my fingers all over it. Okay, stick to me, go ahead, everything's sticking to me. And I am just going to lay this sticky side down on the flocking. And I'm gonna run this through. So as you can see, there, is, there are different ways of adhering the flocking and so I'm just showing you a few I didn't get that oh look at that I must have said something that sounded like Siri because that was my Apple watch and we're just gonna keep recording because I'm not gonna start over again so uh oh did we not get a little bit okay I must have got my fingers on it right there on that little spot but I'm not gonna worry about it because you know what that's just a speck of snow because of what I'm doing, it's the speck of snow. Okay, so now we have a scarf, we have a hat, we have a snowman to put it on, but the snowman doesn't have any eyes or carrot or anything. We are gonna have to do something about that. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, I've got the cuddle bug all put away and I'm going to be using the matching stamp set for this. And we are going to give Frosty here some features. So we're gonna be stamping on the flock transfer sheet, which is kind of cool that you can stamp on this. So we've inked it, we've cut it, we've adhered it. We're going to stamp on it. And so right here, we have got Frosty's face. And hopefully I get it on there good. I should check and see where I want his hat. Okay, I think I have an idea of where we're gonna stamp. And I'm using my Momento Tuxedo Black ink. You can use whatever ink you have because in a little while I'm even gonna be using Distress Ink. Okay, so I think I got it all inked up good. We're gonna give face right here to Frosty. 
and beautiful, right? Of course, it's not focusing. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That stamps perfectly. I love it. It's always fun to find new surfaces that you can stamp on. And it's also good to know that you can stamp on the flocking because that gives you so many more options. Okay, let's see here. Put that face away and grabbing a little tiny carrot nose. I have to be careful to not lose it. Okay, and I'm going to be using ripe persimmon for Frosty's nose. Get that inked up. Let's see if I can get this in a good place. I'll call that good. And there's his nose. Okay, now what Frosty needs is some buttons down the front. Let me see, does this, oh, it does come with the buttons. It's been a while since I've used this set. Like I said, it's, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on there and I'm gonna grab the little buttons for down the front. Put that on here. Go back to my memento, because we want the buttons to be black, or at least I do. Okay. And there we go. Now, isn't he looking much, much better? And also, off camera, I went ahead and stamped his little arms. So we now have his little, his little arms to add to him. And so I think we're getting close to being able to put Frosty together. Okay, now it's time to stick Frosty to the card. And I've already started peeling off the backing because I actually made a mistake and started gluing his arms on, realizing, no, no, that can't happen. So I am removing the backing and it's really sticky. Okay, so now I need to put Frosty's arms on, sticking them to the back. And so, Let's see, I think one right about there and one right about there. Actually, this one just looks a little long, but you know what? It's already stuck. This stuff is sticky, sticky, guys. Sorry. Okay, so I have to decide exactly where I'm sticking him, and I already know that I want to stick him, kind of tucking him in here. I don't know if I should move the camera down a little bit closer. Give me a second, let me see about moving it down just a tiny bit here. Okay. Got the light reflecting off from there, but I'm lifting up one of the layers and sticking him right in there. There we go. We're not done yet though. <laughs> We are not done yet. Okay, so now I think we need to add a little snow, maybe some snowballs right over here that Frosty's gonna, Frosty's gonna throw them at you. So let's see, how are we going to do that? Well, we are going to use glue dots. These are Zots. And these are the bigger ones, which are the right size for a snowball. I'll show you one here in green. So that's about the size of it. And I think I'm going to put a few right there, or I'm going to attempt to. So let me just tear off a piece of this here. And you know what? In order for me to see what I'm doing, again, this is going to be off camera, but I'm going to put them on there, and then I'll be right back, and we will add the flocking. Okay. I added some of the bigger glue dots right there to make some snowballs that Frosty is gonna throw at you, and then you'll see some little tiny glue dots all over, just randomly put on there for snow. And I had to bring back the cuddle bug because we're gonna put it through the cuddle bug. So I'm just going to line up some pieces here. And again, flocking side down, paper side up. Ok, 
Okay. We'll start over here. We're going to gently peel this up. And there are some snowflakes. Actually, it looks like it's snow that uh, Frosty's tossing in the air. Okay. Let's do this side now. I always like doing it slow. Uh oh, are we sticking to Frosty? Oh no, we stuck to Frosty. I'll have to straighten that up a little bit. And the snowballs. Yeah, there must have been a little glue over there by Frosty. Okay, and there's a pile of snowballs and there's some snow falling. And I'm gonna go see what I can do about that right there. And if necessary, I'll just make another scarf and put it over the top of that. But look at that. Isn't that cool? And so it's clear. And that's snow falling in the sky. Is that just awesome or what? I love it, love it, love it. So to finish it off, I stamped Winter Joy on the front. And on the inside, I stamped Merry Christmas. And as you can see, there's plenty of room for you to sign your name down here. And yet it's all hidden behind the layer of snow. And when it stands up, which I can't get you a good camera angle, but it looks like the snow is just falling in midair. Is that cool or what? And I actually decided to leave that little bit of um, white flocking on there. I decided it looked like snow had landed on him and that was a good thing. So what I want to show you or point out to you is today I showed you that you can use the flocking with double-sided tape. You can use it with your Xyron. You can use it with glue dots. Running out of room here. And that you can use it with foam adhesive. And I had mentioned using spray adhesive when I was trying to decide between the spray or the Xyron. And this one was done with spray adhesive. It works beautifully. Another thing I wanted to show you is that it also looks good on darker colors. This is on black, the pink on the black. And I think it came out absolutely beautiful. To do that, I used Easy Cut Adhesive, which is amazing. It cuts beautifully um, with your cuddle bug or whatever you want to use, even a punch. I've done with, with a punch before. And I used this Hugs Dye from Gina K Designs. And it just came out gorgeous. I also want to show you the difference. This was done on white. This was done on black. So you can see that it is a little bit more vivid on the white. I realize on the camera I'm looking and there doesn't appear to be that much of a difference, but there is on the white, it's just a little bit more vivid. And keep watching because I'm going to have another video soon showing you even more ways that you can use the DecoFoil flock transfer sheets. Thank you all for watching today. I really had fun making this card and I love using those DecoFoil flock transfer sheets because there's so many things you can do with them. Not just what I did today, but I'm gonna be having more videos in the future showing more adhesives, more techniques, more ways to use it, and I think you're absolutely gonna love it. And in the meantime, click where it says show more and I'm gonna have links below to the products that I use today, as well as to ThermoWeb, where you can find even more of the flock transfer sheet colors and you know adhesives that you can use. And I will also have a link down there to a video I did a while back on making a clear card, just in case you wanna see a video showing it from the very beginning where I put it together. And let me see, what else? Ah, Merry Christmas, everyone, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.